The possibility that asteroid Apophis may strike Earth has kept many astrophysicists up at night. But when NASA declared the asteroid's trajectory was safe in 2021, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. However, as the date of its flyby approaches, scientists fear that a collision with even one of the 1.2 million asteroids and comets that reside in our solar system could change Apophis's trajectory and lead to our ultimate doom. Why can't astronomers stop watching Apophis? What are the chances of a life-threatening collision? Let's find out. Asteroids are a common part of our solar system, left behind from its formation around 4.6 billion years ago. Most asteroids come from the main asteroid belt located between Mars and Jupiter and orbit the Sun in highly flattened or elliptical circles, often rotating erratically, tumbling, and falling through space. There are more than one million asteroids in our solar system, most of them located near Jupiter. The massive gravitational force around the gas giant ensures these asteroids continue to hurtle through space in random directions. Although asteroids have played a major part in shaping our planet through the centuries, it wasn't until 2013 that scientists really took notice of the massive implications of an asteroid collision. It all started when a meteor exploded over the Ural Mountains in Russia in 2013. The footage of the event was enough to terrify everyone. The light from the meteor was so bright that viewers swore it was brighter than even the sun and was visible as far as 100 kilometers away. But other than the light show, eyewitnesses reported feeling an intense wave of heat from the fireball that hurtled from the sky. The meteor exploded in an air burst over Chelyabinsk Oblast at a height of about 29.7 kilometers, creating a hot cloud of dust and gas that penetrated 26.2 kilometers. While most of the meteor's energy was absorbed by the atmosphere, the explosion created an enormous shock wave that hundreds of people in the area felt. The shock wave affected around 7 to 200 buildings in six cities across the region leaving them scrambling for major repairs. Here's a quick comparison to give you a better idea of the damage that could have happened. The asteroid that exploded in Russia had a total kinetic energy equivalent to the blast yield of 400 to 500 kilotons of TNT. That is 26 to 33 times more energy compared to the atomic bomb that was detonated in Hiroshima. The meteor explosion in Russia was the first time modern humans witnessed the power of a space rock. Now let's circle back to the peanut-shaped asteroid still looming in space, Apophis. The Russian meteor was 59 feet in diameter and weighed around 9,100 tons, while Apophis is 1,100 feet wide. Can you imagine the kinetic energy of a space rock that size? You can bet Apophis's collision with Earth will be catastrophic. Apophis was first discovered by astronomers Roy A. Tucker, David J. Thalen, and Fabrizio Bernardi on June 19, 2004, while working at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona. Initially identified as 2004 MN4, the asteroid later earned a new name when scientists realized how dangerous it could be for Earth. There was considerable excitement among the scientific community on discovering a new asteroid, but that turned into shock when the astronomers calculated just how close the asteroid's orbit would bring it to Earth. Based on the visual observations of 2004, they deduced that there was a 2.7% chance that the object would hit Earth in 2029. That's when they started calling it Apophis, the god of chaos. However, by 2006, Astronomers were able to rule out the possibility of Apophis striking Earth in 2029 thanks to careful observations and additional calculations. But scientists were still wary about the asteroid's close flyby in 2068. Also, Apophis's path after 2029 depended on how Earth's gravity would change its orbit. Therefore, a lot of data was up to speculation. Between 2015 and 2019, Apophis became impossible to track as it got too close to the sun. But when it finally reappeared on the radar, 
scientists got to work and came back with good news. They confirmed that Earth was safe from a collision with Apophis for the next 100 years. That sure was a sigh of relief. But why is Apophis back in the limelight again? It's because even though scientists are confident the space rock will not change its trajectory until its close flyby in 2029, there's always a chance that one of the 1.2 million asteroids and comets flying around in our solar system might collide with Apophis and change its orbit. Paul Wiegert, an astronomer at the University of Western Ontario in Canada, said, Fortunately, no such collisions are anticipated even now that we know it's on course to miss us by a safe margin. Astronomers remain vigilant. It's the asteroid we just can't stop watching. Wiegert and his colleague Benoit Noyelis of the University of Waterloo in Canada analyzed all the asteroids and comets in our solar system to find out if any of them would come in contact with Apophis before April 2029. They studied two independent databases, one maintained by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and the other by the European Space Agency. The idea was to identify the asteroids and comets in our solar system whose orbits come within 0.1 Australian dollars of Apophis. The researchers came up with 376 objects from the JPL catalog and 396 from ESA's catalog. Interestingly, 300 of these objects appeared in both databases. They then ran simulations of the chosen orbits only to reveal that none of the asteroids or comets will directly hit Apophis before its April 2029 flyby Earth. This means the chance of Apophis's orbit changing due to a space rock collision is negligible. But they found something else too, something that could change the fate of Apophis and ultimately Earth. When researchers were looking for asteroids and comets that might collide with Apophis, they came across an asteroid named 4,544 Xanthus. This asteroid will pass Apophis at a distance of a little over 310,000 miles in December 2026. Although the two will not collide, 4,544 Xanthus will pass the duo's intersection point just four hours after Apophis. And the problem with that is the encounter will be close enough for material accompanying Xanthus to strike Apophis. If that happens, Apophis's future path might be affected, increasing its impact probability with Earth. Can you imagine what would happen if the asteroid ended up striking Earth? It will hit the Earth 13 years later. It will hit the Earth 500 miles. Sorry, 500 kilometers due west of Santa Monica. So, it doesn't matter where it goes through that keyhole. Now, that's if it goes through the center. If it goes through other places within that keyhole, then the contact point shifts further into the Pacific or closer towards North America. Yes, according to Neil deGrasse Tyson, the asteroid impact will create a massive tsunami that will wash away the west coast of the United States. He fears that the asteroid could do a trillion dollars worth of damage. However, astronomers have cleared Earth from Apophis impact for the next century, so Southern California is safe for now. But what happens after Xanthus comes dangerously close to Apophis in 2026? No one knows. The good news is that scientists are more prepared for an asteroid impact than they were in 2013 when the meteorite exploded above the Ural Mountains in Russia. They are confident that our current technology will allow us to deflect the trajectory of a comet or asteroid and prevent it from striking Earth. One idea is to hit an incoming asteroid with enough force to change its orbit around the Sun and alter its trajectory in our favor. Another technique is to use a gravity tractor asteroid deflection method, where a robotic probe would travel with a space rock for several years, altering its orbit through the probe's gravitational pull. But these techniques haven't been tested, so we don't know whether or not they will work for Apophis. Interestingly, NASA has different and better plans for the God of Chaos. The OSIRIS-REx mission, which set out to collect samples from the asteroid Bennu in 20120, is now going to study Apophis. The probe, which is now called OSIRIS-APEX, will gather valuable insights about the asteroid before 
and after its flyby on April 13, 2029. Scientists are hopeful its observations will reveal what the asteroid's interior is made of and help quantify in real time how planetary tides affect asteroids. What do you think are the chances of Apophis striking Earth? Will it continue on its orbit, or will Xanthus create new problems for our planet? Tell us your opinions in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell for more videos.